Hello all, welcome to part 10 of mobile testing training series. In this session, I'm going to explain one of the mobile application types that is hybrid apps. So let's get started. As explained in the previous sessions, we have four different mobile application types. First type is MEW, mobile enabled web. Then we have web apps. Then we have native apps. And the last one is hybrid apps. Okay. In this session, I'm going to cover the last type of the mobile application type that is hybrid apps. Okay. So what are hybrid apps? Hybrid apps are nothing but the combination of native apps and web apps. I already explained what are web apps, right? They also look similar to mobile applications, but they are like uh, kind of lightweight, simple applications, guys. Uh, they, they run on the browser, but uh, you remember the stuff, right? I covered this in the previous session, okay? And uh, in, in the previous session itself, I covered the native apps. In one of the previous sessions, I covered web apps. So if you have understood what are web apps and native apps from my previous uh, sessions of this uh, mobile testing training series, it's very easy to understand what are hybrid apps, guys, okay? Hybrid apps are nothing but the combination of native apps and web apps. So <clears throat> you will more, more understand hybrid apps if you understand this uh, two other types of app that I already explained in the previous session, guys. So in case of hybrid apps, okay? In case of hybrid apps, developers use the common technologies across multiple platforms, okay? In case of native apps, native programming language, which is specific to that particular device and the operating system platform will be generally used for developing the native apps specific to that uh, devices, right? And OS platforms. But here in case of hybrid apps, it's kind of different guys, okay? In hybrid apps, we use common technologies that can work across multiple or different, okay? Platforms of mobile devices. So what are those common technologies? Those are nothing but HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML, CSS, JavaScript can be used with uh, Android, it can be used with iOS and all the stuff, okay? In all the devices we can use, different uh, device, uh, uh, device platforms, operating system platforms, device types, everywhere we can use is common languages, guys. Okay. So in case of hybrid, we use common, common language for multiple platforms. Okay. That we need to, that we need for uh, the application to be developed for. Okay. So you see HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Okay. HTML, CSS and JavaScript are mentioned here. So the single hybrid app can be developed to work for multiple class cross platforms. Okay. So uh, if uh, speed is not the number one priority and uh, that's okay, uh, it's not negligible speed difference is fine, right? So some applications will be there that will be internally used, not like LinkedIn or something, but some applications will be there that are internally used. Okay. So mm, with the less number of cloud and all the stuff, such applications, right? The people, uh, developers may go with, uh, you know, right, hybrid app approach just to save the time, okay? If they have to go with the native app approach, uh, it's going to take a lot of time because for every device and the operating system platform, they have to uh, develop the uh, mobile application using the native programming language and all. That will take a lot of time, okay? So developers have to write in different programming languages, separate uh, developers may be required, mobile developers may be required for developing different applications, all the stuff, okay? Uh, uh, same application on different devices and platforms, uh, different developers will be required there. But in case of single hybrid, hybrid app, you see the same set of developers uh, by using the common programming languages or common coding platforms like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, they'll be developing the application at a time for multiple platforms and multiple OS uh, devices and the uh, OS platforms and uh, device types, okay? So there will not be separate devices, uh, separate apps, okay? Only single app, it can be installed either in uh, diff multiple supported platforms, okay? So as a native programming languages, unlike in native uh, mobile applications, we use native languages specific to that device and all, right? Hybrid apps don't use that, okay? Hence, hybrid apps will definitely be slower when compared to the native apps. Native apps will be faster because uh, they are developed using the native lang uh, native programming language, which are specific to the device and OS platform, et cetera, okay? But in case of hybrid apps, the common technologies are being used and these common technologies may not be so much, you know, uh, kind of, uh, uh, interactive or communicative when compared to the native. Hence, hybrid apps are a bit slower, okay, when compared to the native apps, okay? Depending on the need of the application and the top of the application uh, uh, and marketing strategies required for developing the application, developers may choose to go with hybrid apps if that is okay, okay? So because they, the, if the time is important, they go with the hybrid apps, okay? If the speed is important, they have to go with the native apps, like the case, okay? Depends on the market and uh, requirements of the application. But what exactly hybrid apps 
as I already mentioned in the beginning of this uh, session, it is a combination of native apps plus web apps. Again, I am saying hybrid apps are a combination of native apps and web apps. That means it's not entirely native app. It's not entirely web app. It's a combination, guys. Okay. Why we are using native apps and where we are using web apps as a combination for uh, building the hybrid apps, I'm going to cover that. Okay. So hybrid apps are nothing but the web apps which are wrapped inside a native app layer. Okay. Internally, there will be web apps. Surrounding the web apps, we will have native app layer. Why native app layer will be there uh, surrounding the web apps? Okay. You already know web apps, right? Web apps run on the browsers. Okay. Uh, they look like mobile applications, but they run on the browsers, right? So here, uh, by applying this native app layer as a wrapper around these web apps, it will become hybrid app. Hybrid means combination, right? So the native app layer of hybrid apps connect the web browser capabilities to the mobile platform capabilities. Okay. So you see web apps doesn't have the capability to, uh, you know, right, uh, use a mobile device specific hardware, software, cameras. This, this is not possible for the web apps. Okay. Connecting to the camera contact list GPS of the mobile device is not possible for the web apps, but there may be some requirement where even, uh, it should be web apps. It should be simple design as web apps, simple thing like web apps where website pages should be, uh, converted at as a look like uh, mobile screens, but. If you completely go with web apps, the problem is this particular web app, mobile web app, uh, will not be able to contact the communicate with uh, camera contact list GPS. So what the idea came is what if we combine these web apps and native apps, they will become hybrid apps where web apps will create the lookalike mobile app screens for the web pages of that particular application and surrounding that web apps, there will be native app layer, which will take care of communicating with the uh device specific hardware and software like camera contact list gps etc okay dual dual thing here okay hybrid apps are more better than the web apps because they are not only simplified version of the web pages but at same time uh, they are creating a native app layer around this web app layer internal web app layer to communicate with this uh, camera contact list gps etc guys okay so these are this hybrid apps are nothing but the combination of native and web apps and uh, they are a bit slower than the native apps and and the problem with the web apps is also covered by the hybrid apps where uh, because of this native app layer around these web apps in this hybrid apps, they are uh, this uh, hybrid apps are able to communicate with the hardware, software, the cameras, et cetera, and all those stuff, okay? Hardware and software of the devices like camera, contact with GPS, et cetera, okay? The two advantages are there here, okay? Multiple advantages. And the other advantage when compared to the native apps are native apps are, uh, though they are uh, faster than the hybrid apps, but uh, developers have to develop the native apps individually for each and every device uh, type and uh, device model and pla uh, operating system platform and platform requirements, right? Whereas hybrid app common, common, pro common things like uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript are required. Okay. So that will save a lot of development time. So unlike other uh, mobile apps, uh, hybrid apps can be downloaded and installed on mobile devices from Google play store or uh, app stores, any other app stores of different operating systems of the mobile devices. Okay. So Apple store or uh, play store for Android, you can go and download the hybrid apps. Okay. So like some examples for the hybrid apps are Gmail, Uber, Swarkit. Okay. These are some examples of the hybrid apps case. Okay. Gmail, Uber and Swarkit. Okay. These are some examples of the um, hybrid apps that are there currently in the market. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on mobile testing. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.